everyone, it's Mel from Melamory Nursery. Welcome back to my channel and let me just take a moment to say thank you for returning. If you have been viewing my channel or watching my channel for a while and have not thought about subscribing, I, I pray you do. Um, and if you like what you see, please don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe and to leave me a comment. I am um, slowly coming back, if you will, for everyone who's new from some surgery that I had. <clears throat> and I had pre-recorded videos for all of the dolls that I am showing now. Um, and the reason I am replacing those pre-recorded videos is because, of course, so much has changed and uh, hopefully you're getting her in the camera. So this little girl is the Patience Awake. She is sculpted by Michelle Fagan and she is a bountiful baby real born. Now that means that this little girl was actually uh, a 3D photograph taken by a little girl with Down syndromes. Now, if you're not aware, a Down syndrome child has 47 chromosomes. And um, if you have not got Down syndrome, you have 46 chromosomes. And I think that extra chromosome really is the happiness chromosome. I got this little girl because she reminded me of a little girl that I taught gymnastics to or balance. It was a balance course, but she turned it into a little gymnastics course. I am not going to elaborate very, very much on her story today, folks, <clears throat> mainly because I just wanted to bring her back for those of you that have requested her. And uh, this is Penny. This is the name uh, of the little girl that taught me so much in life. Penny uh, is represented by this doll. And folks, if you're new to my channel, I am an adult doll collector, and I am also a writer and a storyteller. And I use these dolls for a number of reasons, but many of you know that I can uh, look at a doll <clears throat> like the patient's awake, and I can use transference, which is a psychological term, to place memories onto the doll and they help me to recall memories, which is a healthy outlet. Um, so she is dressed in this uh, very thick knitted sweater with gray leggings and some pink shoes. And she may be a bit difficult for me to dress, so I've put the duck behind her. <clears throat> So I can pull on the duck and the bill to bring her up and closer. And hopefully she is in the camera properly. I did find this new outfit. Um, well, actually, it, it was an outfit that I was looking for. Uh, and I had to go to Walmart of all places. And... Uh, and I'm walking around a mall is safer for me. So I spotted this uh, zero to three month. Um, it's like a track pant material with a tie and it's pink with white polka dots. And there was this top, sorry, sweetheart. There was this top with the pink fox with the white face and the ears. Um, and part of me can see fox, but part of me sees raccoon. I mean, the colors are different, but a fox is, is brown and black, and a raccoon is black and brown. So in this rendition, it's pink and white. But I love my raccoons, so that's what I see, even though I know it is meant to be a fox. And of course, up here are the little hairs. So that is really what she's going to be wearing. I do have some slippers for her and a knitted cap which actually would have gone with her outfit there a lot better 
so I am I'm hoping everybody is okay um, mainly the reason why I wanted to change Miss Penny is I get a lot of requests on when are you bringing Penny back we love Penny we love Penny's story I hear this a lot and for those of you who love Penny uh, Christina is one of them um, I thank you very much uh, and these shoes I have to be careful were gifted to me by Chris my dear friend from the UK from Chris's petals and they've got buttons down the sides and I don't want to rip the buttons off so um, the first person to wear these shoes when I open them was let me think now um, well I don't remember it'll have to come to me but I had a little white dress for her that day and uh, Chris sent me little bloomers with the pink frilly bottoms Chris calls them knickers and these gorgeous pink shoes which I do love but I am going to take her down. I'm praying she has an undershirt on because I did not pull one down for her. And she has very, very, very big thighs. Now, children with Down syndrome, their body um, type, their shape uh, is different than um, many of uh, many of us. So this outfit was Koala Kid six to nine months um, that she was in for her pants. So I'm hoping these leggings or pants will fit her because <clears throat> as you can see, she does have very thick thighs and that is because of uh, how um, most Down syndrome children, or a lot anyway, have uh, heart conditions which restrict blood flow to certain parts of their body and okay sweetheart let's let's move you this way let's move you this way and help your your reborn mommy out a little bit shall we um so yeah when when a child with down syndrome has any heart conditions um they don't grow the same way uh, other children grow so often they end up a little bit uh, with more of a long torso and thicker limbs. Um, very much like dwarfism in, in, a, in a case, but not quite so extreme. So as you can see, she's got a really, really big bottom. Okay. And she's not super heavy and she's, her bottom is heavier than her head. I have not reweighted her. I've not done anything. I've not changed her at all since I got her. Um, her mottling is very, um, detailed and much different than I'm used to. And I call Penny my, my unique doll because of her mottling. And, um, she's got beautiful red applied uh, eyelashes, top and bottom. Her bottom ones are brown. Her top ones are red. And, um, she, she is just those green eyes and red hair. And as you can see, her red hair is just, needs some treating, which I'll do a little bit. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll just kind of style it a little bit while she's sitting here for you all. But yeah, um, this little girl, uh, when I got her, reminded me of the real Penny that I knew. The real Penny was six years old. I think she was six. The course, yeah, was for six to eight years old. So yeah, Penny was about six, six and a half. So my granddaughter's age. And balance is very difficult for children with Down syndrome. And um, Penny wanted more because Penny wanted to do a front roll on the beam, which was a wider beam for her course. Uh, which was 10 inches. Most beams are uh, between, um, they're about eight inches. I used to compete on a beam that was eight inches off the ground, six feet off the ground. No, sorry, four and a half feet off the ground and eight inches across. 
So add his little penny there. Put her hairbrush down. I'm not going to do anything drastic because I plan on putting a hat on her. She's got an open fist or open hand and an open fist. And she does kind of glaze off and look into space a little bit. So um, I will be keeping her same socks on. Um, Penny's been wearing the same undershirt, the same socks, but that's okay. Um, I have added uh, Cray to my collection, which is Caroline Simone. And uh, she is a bigger doll. She is 22 inches long and she is the um oh folks my memory it'll come to me <clears throat> all of this will be in the description below but cray cray also has a story because cray was the group's sweetheart she was the group's cheerleader in fact she was penny's biggest cheerleader Cray would hold her hand over her mouth in shock most of the time when little Miss Penny would go off on her gallivants and wanting to do whatever it is she wanted to do. And she, this little one was like just a little cheeky monkey. She really was a cheeky monkey. So um, let's get her sweater on now, hopefully. This will have to go over her head too, but she's got a very light head. So I'm going to just lift her up and pull this over her head. It's funny. I, I didn't really like these kind of outfits when my children were growing up. I got gifted them a lot because um, the kids' aunt, well, their dad's aunt, so their great aunt, had a a uh, little girl just before my oldest so uh, everything that Chrissy Christy went through my oldest got that <clears throat> and my oldest two children were born 22 months apart so I was very fortunate because we were poor as church mice we absolutely were I mean you talk about making it payday payday I mean we we barely did that uh, thankfully, though, I grew up in poverty and I knew how to make things stretch and last. And, you know, um, I knew how to sew. I knew how to fix things. And if I didn't know how to do them, then I definitely learned very quickly. I mean, there was no calling the mechanic, for example. I mean, I just, I just did things, um, and it wasn't for lack of working. We were working, but, you know, we were we were a young family starting out. And um, that's just how it was. I mean, we made it work. And, you know, we were very, very grateful for what we got. We didn't, you know, we never told people, oh, we don't like that. So we're not using that. No, 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 no. We were very grateful <clears throat> for every little thing that we got. And um, this little girl here was a result of my bartering with Gail, who was the activities director at the local YMCA, so that I could get extra training for uh, floor and, um, and vault uh, um, sessions, because in order for me to carry on with my competitions, I needed all four components, so instead of the, um, I was competing at that point on the bars and the beam, but I needed the four components, bars, beams, floors, and vault, in order to carry on with the, um, the competitions that I was in, in gymnastics. Okay, little girl, let's get you turned around here. She's looking so cute. So, yeah. And my meeting these little girls and what they taught me. This is her lovey, by the way. Her little elephant lovey right there. There you go. Makes her feel safe. So I'm just going to stick this little duck behind her. Prop her up on this little duck. Oh, look at that duck. She has tons of animals on her. So we are going to participate in... Um, a couple of themes which I'll name right after I get her little pink knitted hat on. Right, Penny? How is this hat going to look on you, darling? Will it fit? 
Yes. Okay, so the themes that we want to participate today in is Casual Fun Friday. Yay! And that is from Kitty and Toddy over at Little Waddle Nursery. And we want to participate in, um, I guess, Thankful Friday is over, but I am thankful for meeting everybody um, who taught me lessons in my life. And I think, you know, even though Tammy says it's over from my reborn nursery, I don't know that it is. And also Fun Fur Friday, which is from Tams from Once Upon a Nursery. Thank you, Tam. And um, who else has a theme on Friday? None that I can remember. So this little girl is who I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the love that people have in their heart for anybody who has any differences, because really, we don't. We don't have any differences. The differences you see are, are just imaginatory. They don't exist. We all, essentially, are different. And because we all are, we are all the same. And that's what makes us completely unique and perfectly imperfect. And I just want to remind you all that you are loved, wanted, and needed. And I want to thank you ever so much for popping in once again to watch my channel, to spend time with me. And I wish you a safe and glorious, beautiful and blessed day, everyone. Take care of yourselves. And most importantly, please be safe. Bye for now.